Laura's summer began with high hopes and excitement as she walked into her first day at the local cafe. She had taken on the job to fund her passion for painting, determined to buy new art supplies with the money she earned. The prospect of working through the summer didn't dampen her spirits. Instead, it fueled her drive to create more vibrant and detailed pieces. As she arrived earlier than scheduled, Laura met Kyle, the other person on shift. Kyle was friendly but quickly warned her about the challenges of the job, especially during the morning rush. It gets pretty intense around here, he explained, but stick with me and you'll be fine. Just try not to make any mistakes. Mr. Reynolds, the manager, can be a bit difficult. Laura shrugged off the warning, eager to get started. The cafe doors opened and customers poured in, placing orders one after another. Laura quickly got into the rhythm, handling the register and helping Kyle when needed. Everything seemed to be going smoothly until a sudden, hard tap on her shoulder startled her. She turned to see Mr. Reynolds, his face stern and eyes burning with irritation. Congratulations, he said with a sneer, you've managed to get fired on your first day. Laura's heart sank. What? Why? Did I do something wrong? She stammered. Yeah, you showed up looking like a clown, he snapped, pointing at her bright blue hair. This isn't a circus. I won't have someone like you representing my cafe. Now get out. Stunned and humiliated, Laura tried to defend herself. But there's nothing in the dress code about hair color. I checked. Mr. Reynolds dismissed her with a wave. I should have known better than to hire a teenager. Just leave. As Laura stood there, shocked and defeated, a voice she hadn't expected to hear rang out from the coup. You can't talk to my daughter like that. Laura turned to see her father, Damien, stepping forward. Her heart raced with a mix of anger and embarrassment. This was the man who had walked out on her and her mother years ago. And now he was here, making a scene on her first day at work. Mind your own business, Mr. Reynolds barked. If you don't like how I run things, take her and go. Unable to bear the confrontation, Laura threw her apron down and stormed out of the cafe. Her dreams of buying new art supplies crushed. She hurried down the street, trying to escape the humiliation and the presence of the man she had tried so hard to forget. Laura, wait. Damien called after her, catching up despite her quick pace. I just want to talk. I know I've made mistakes, but please let me explain. Go away. Laura shouted, not slowing down. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Damien's desperation was palpable as he pleaded with her. Please, Laura. I had to leave, but I'm back now. I want to make things right. Make things right? She scoffed, wrenching her shoulder away from his grasp. You left us. You don't get to come back and act like everything's okay. With tears stinging her eyes, Laura ducked into the subway, leaving Damien behind. She managed to hold back her tears until she was safely seated on the train, where she finally let them fall. The events of the day played over and over in her mind, from the unjust firing to the unexpected and unwelcome appearance of her father. When Laura finally made it home, she was exhausted and emotionally drained. Her mind kept replaying the sight of Damien, his attempts to explain himself, and the hurt he had caused. She needed a distraction, something to focus on other than the chaos of her life. Art was the only thing that made sense. She set up her canvas and paints, even though the tubes were almost empty. She squeezed out what little color she could and began to paint, losing herself in the strokes and colors. Hours passed, and when she finally stepped back, she was dissatisfied with the outcome. The painting reflected her turmoil, chaotic and conflicted. As she cleaned up, her mother, Allison, arrived home. Sensing something was wrong, Allison asked about her first day at work. Laura hesitated before telling her the whole truth, including her encounter with Damien. Allison listened quietly, her expression a mix of concern and sadness. I'm so sorry you had to go through that, she said, pulling Laura into a hug. You didn't deserve any of it, especially not from your father. Laura nodded, but her thoughts were elsewhere. 
She felt a surge of guilt for not telling her mother sooner about Damien's reappearance, but she had been too overwhelmed. The encounter had stirred up emotions she had buried deep down, emotions she wasn't ready to confront. The next few weeks were difficult. Laura struggled to find another job, and her art supplies dwindled to almost nothing. Despite her best efforts, every potential employer turned her down, citing her age or lack of experience. Frustration and hopelessness set in, but Laura refused to give up. Then, one morning, a large package appeared on her doorstep. It was wrapped with a red bow, and there was no delivery label. Curious and a little apprehensive, Laura opened it to find a set of high-quality oil paints and two large canvases, the exact supplies she had been saving up for. A note was attached. For Laura, my favorite artist, I know you'll put these to good use. Laura's heart pounded as she read the note. Who could have sent this? She didn't know anyone who would buy such expensive supplies for her. But how did they know where she lived? Pushing her worries aside, Laura decided to make the best of the unexpected gift. She set up her easel and began to paint, pouring all her emotions into the canvas. The colors and textures seemed to come alive under her brush, and for the first time in weeks, she felt a sense of peace. As the days passed, Laura continued to receive small donations and words of encouragement. But one message, in particular, caught her attention. It was from a user named Artlover, who had been particularly supportive and had even suggested that she enter a local art competition. The suggestion piqued Laura's interest. The competition offered a cash prize and a mentorship opportunity, both of which could help her future as an artist. Despite her reservations about the mysterious gift and the note Laura decided to enter. Her mother was supportive but also cautious, reminding Laura to be careful and stay alert, especially given the unknown identity of her benefactor. Together, they prepared for the competition, with Laura working tirelessly on her submissions. The day of the competition arrived, and Laura was a bundle of nerves. As she set up her paintings in the gallery, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The thought of Art Lover being there in person unsettled her, but she tried to focus on the positive. This was a chance to showcase her talent. To her surprise, one of the gallery's visitors, a well-known art teacher named Miriam, was particularly impressed with Laura's work. Miriam praised the passion and emotion evident in Laura's paintings and offered to buy one on the spot. Elated by the sale and the praise, Laura's spirits were lifted but her joy was short-lived when she noticed a familiar face in the crowd, her father, Damien. He approached her with a smile, oblivious to the tension his presence created. Are you serious? Laura asked, her voice filled with disbelief. Your art lover? You sent me those supplies? Damien's smile faltered as he nodded. Yes, I did. I wanted to support you, Laura. I've been following your work and I'm so proud of what you've accomplished." Laura felt a mix of emotions, anger, betrayal, and confusion. You think sending me some paints makes up for everything? For leaving us? Laura, Damien began, but Allison stepped forward, cutting him off. Why didn't you tell her the truth sooner? Allison demanded, her voice sharp with anger. You left us with no explanation, no warning. You could have at least told her the truth. Damien sighed, his shoulders sagging under the weight of his guilt. I was trying to protect you both, he explained. I was involved in a situation that put me in danger. I couldn't risk involving you. Laura stared at him, her mind reeling. What do you mean? Damien took a deep breath, knowing it was time to reveal the truth. I was involved in a legal case, working as a whistleblower. The people I exposed were dangerous, and I had to go into hiding to protect myself, and you. Laura's anger began to melt into confusion and hurt. Why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you let us help you? I didn't want to drag you into my mess, Damien said, his voice pained. But I regret not telling you. I thought it was the best way to keep you safe. Allison shook her head, tears welling in her eyes. You should have trusted us, Damien. We could have faced it together. 
Laura looked between her parents, trying to process everything she was hearing. The father she had resented for so long had left to protect them, not out of selfishness, but his secrecy had caused deep wounds. I don't know if I can forgive you. Laura said quietly, her voice trembling, but I can't keep hating you either. It's too exhausting. Damien nodded, his own eyes shining with unched tears. I don't expect forgiveness, Laura. I just want a chance to be in your life again, to make things right. Laura took a deep breath, trying to steady herself. Maybe, maybe we can start with that. The three of them stood in silence for a moment, the weight of the past heavy between them. But there was also a glimmer of hope, hope that they could rebuild what had been broken. As the gallery event continued, Laura found herself surrounded by people who appreciated her work and offered words of encouragement. While she didn't win the competition, she knew that the real victory was in taking the first steps toward healing her relationship with her father. Later that evening, as they left the gallery, Damien walked a little behind Allison and Laura, giving them space. But Laura noticed him watching her with a tentative smile, and for the first time in years, she didn't feel the urge to push him away. The road ahead wouldn't be easy, but for the first time, Laura felt like there was a chance to mend what had been broken. With her mother by her side and her father trying to make amends, Laura knew that her future, both in art and in life, held more promise than ever before.